Hi fans, we are here at the Gladiators practice rink getting ready to head down to Estero, Florida to take on the Florida Everblades on Friday. That's all coming after the Gladiators had four games against four different opponents this past week. I'm the team broadcaster Mike Fulta and this is the Short Shift. The Gladiators traveled back to Gas South Arena to face the Jacksonville Icemen on Friday night. The Icemen opened the scoring in the first period, but Gabe Gertler responded for Atlanta to tie the game midway through the third, tallying his ninth goal of the season. As time wound down in overtime, Mitchell Holscher got to play hero for the Glads, netting the game winner in the extra frame after this sharp wrister in the top left corner to seal the 2-1 victory. Atlanta was back on home ice again Sunday afternoon in a matchup against the Norfolk Admirals, and the Glads were firing on all cylinders as they put on an offensive clinic. Elijah Villio began the scoring on the night after he lasered a slap shot from the blue line into the back of the net early in the first. Eric Neely and Derek Topadage also joined in on the fun, tallying goals of their own. But the captain, Derek Nesbitt, and Cameron Kiley had the hottest sticks, recording a pair of goals each in the 7-3 victory to extend Atlanta's home win streak to five. The Glads look to finish that home stretch off strong with one last game against the Florida Everblades. Cameron Kiley struck first for Atlanta, but Florida fought back with two second period goals to take the lead heading into the third period. Elijah Villio answered the call for the Gladiators and then some, netting three third period goals to complete the natural hat trick and seal the 4-2 victory. The Hatter served as Atlanta's first of the season as well as the first of Villio's professional career. That's all the time we have here from Duluth before the Gladiators head south to the Sunshine State to take on the Everblades, 7.30 on Friday and then 7 o'clock on Saturday at Hertz Arena. We'll see you next week for another edition of The Short Shift.